What's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and today we got a kind of an interesting one. Uh, we did a video very similar to this recently where we did a kind of a comparison between all the vintage wirings that came in various Telecasters over the years. So today I got, courtesy of, and I'll tell you the story in a minute, but basically I got one of these 70th anniversary broadcasters. So this is uh, the Fender Broadcaster. Uh, and it came with wiring to change it. It came with a resistor and we're going to add some wiring to change it from basically like the normal tally wiring that we've got here to the original broadcaster wiring. Interesting story. So this guitar was actually on Trogli's guitar show on YouTube. Shout out to Trogli. How you doing? Uh, and he sold it to a friend of mine in Florida. And that friend of mine said, you should take this guitar and you should put uh, the circuit in it and make a video about it. So for those of you that watch the Trogli Guitar Show, this is going to kind of be the going all the way around of this guitar and putting it into that broadcaster sort of deal. So you heard me come in with this thing, basically just messing around with it a little bit, that it's just normal Telecaster wiring, normal tele, normal set, just as you would buy the thing. Um, I'm playing it with my Kemper, with the 65 Super Reverb profile that I always use, with the Tube Screamer a little bit. Just the same one that I always use normal every time in all of our videos when we play stuff. So now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and take this thing apart and let's see what's inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the Telecaster electronic parts kit that came in the guitar. And we're gonna change the wiring via, they're not very easy to understand wiring diagram as far as wiring diagrams go. Fender, you could have probably drawn this a little more effectively and made it a little easier to understand. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing on the bench and uh, get it swapped over. Alright, so let's talk about how the broadcaster wiring works now. There's no tone control. So here we have uh, our bridge position. We can take our, what used to be our tone knob and spin it this way. And now we have our middle position. So basically this has become a blend knob that it's bridge position and then blends the neck back in wherever we want it. Here's about halfway. Here is all the way middle. Really cool. Could be of some use actually. Makes a lot of sense. Now when we go to the middle position, what used to be our middle position, the only thing that works is the volume knob and we just have a neck pickup.
So it's just the neck with nothing. Now here's where it starts to get weird. We go ahead and we push this all the way forward. And now this used to be our neck position, but what it is now is our neck position with that 0.05 microfarad cap on it that gives us this weird muffly sound. Now you gotta remember, uh, very, very early Telecasters were more or less pre-electric bass. So this is how, you know, you, you got your bass guitar. Right? Which sounds, at this point, in 2020-something, like it doesn't make much sense. Because you can't adjust it. It's fixed. However, if we put a fair amount of gain on it, then it becomes kind of fun. Really, really cool. Really cool. You could do a lot of really kind of fun stuff with this. Um, is it kind of a niche thing? Yeah, obviously. But uh, I think it's actually pretty fairly versatile. I mean, how many guitar players actually use their tone knobs anyway? I'm just kidding. Uh, so basically, this was pre-tone knob. This guitar is actually a fairly accurate representation of the whole broadcaster thing. Um, flat screws, five hole pick guard, um, you know, kind of the whole deal. This is a really cool guitar. It's actually really fun to play. Um, but that just gives you an idea uh, of some of the tonal possibilities of the early broadcaster circuit. And since they're putting it in this like reissue commemorative thing, um, it makes sense that you would actually do this mod and put it back to that, especially if you already have a bunch of other Telecasters because I think there is a place for it, even in 2020 something, right? Really kind of cool. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you today. Uh, my name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. If you have any questions about Tele stuff, uh, and we like those around here, uh, anything else about guitar tone, guitar tech, any of that kind of stuff, put it in the comments and maybe we will make a video about it. Also, every Thursday, at 5 p.m. we do a basically like a Q&A live Q&A session on the YouTubes uh, right here on this channel so you can go to patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone put your question in and I will make sure that I feature it um, you can take your chance during the feed but sometimes it gets so busy that sometimes I miss them you know what I mean because there's just a lot of people and so it's super fun to be able to interact with you all that way and we can all hang out and talk guitar stuff every Thursday thanks for hanging out We'll see you next time.